What we gotta work on right now, though, is getting warmed up. And I think I'm gonna train some back today. We did, we've been doing back, but I need a little bit more back today. I might do like a T-bar rows today. That's what I'm thinking. Do I recommend uh, any workout programs? You can, you can check them out and get started. I mean, I have my training that I stream live for free, and then I have my exclamation mark gains channel where I post my workouts and stuff. Um, I get you started, and I have my IRL playlist from the OG uh, videos I used to post on my main channel. I, I've had to post the fitness content on my, my games channel now because it seems to mess up the algorithm for the main channel, but whatever. Got a lot of free content for you, but you could check that kind of stuff out too. Oh yeah. But I, do, I like to lift every day, yeah. I do, I think it's fun. I like train every day. Uh, what do you suggest for uh, gaining weight? Can't eat much, what's preventing you from eating much? Like you're just not comfortable eating much? Or you got something going on where you can't eat? And let me know if the light looks too weird. I can uh, I can adjust the, the door on there if the light looks too funky. Next up, might have had some strains in your recovery. Oof, yeah, those strains. You eat two meals a day, okay. So like, what's, what's doing that? Like, are you just not, like, are you able to eat more than that, and you just aren't? Or, like, what's the limiting factor? What's making it so that you can't eat more? What's the situation? Oh, man, gotta get warmed up. Ugh. Normal old upper body pump workout <laughs> has been fun. We're just getting warmed up with the dumbbells and stuff, but I, I want to try to do the, the some rows today. Barbell rows can be good, but T-bar rows might be kind of a nice little thing. Oh, it's such a nice day, yeah. This is exactly what I need, man. This is good for my soul. You think your stomach is so small, I can't eat more. Okay. Well, you just gotta slowly work on increasing your calories over time. Take a look at exclamation mark bulk. That'll teach you how to track your calories. And then adding in 100 calories, like if you're, if you're comfortable eating 2,200 calories or something like that, right? then eating 2,300 calories every day that week should not be impossible for you, right? Then, next week, it shouldn't be impossible for you to eat 2,400 calories. The next week, it shouldn't be impossible for you to eat 2,500 calories, right? You just increase the amount you're eating slowly over time, right? And it doesn't have to be this crazy, I can't possibly stomach the food process, right? It's just work your calories up slowly over time. You got this. Maybe eating more than two meals a day would be helpful too, right? Getting a little more active would probably help you bump up your uh, appetite a little bit. You got this though, man. That's the main message. Is you do got this. Ooh. I'm feeling a little blasted today. I could have had a second meal during the stream, that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll wake up and we'll get through it. Feeling a little blasted today, though. The sunshine and the weights, carbohydrates and, the, and the, my drink. All those help us get going. Just gotta get pumping, we'll, we'll wake up and warm up, we'll be all right. Let our good, good vibes from the gaming session carry forward. Really digging the morning schedule. Really digging it. It's been going really well for us. pretty pricey, huh? How many cars does the average man need? I mean, there are some estimates about that, but it's, it's variable. You should watch the exclamation mark nutrition. It varies. Is it, is it recovering properly? It must be coming out some food and sleep, right? 
That's what I'd say. Mostly food and sleep. Yep. Yep. Yup, yup. That's how it is for me. I mean, like, sleep is huge. I, I've been trying to get by on a little bit less sleep recently, but sleep is huge for recovery. I've been trying to do, like, you know, six hours of sleep. And I, I don't feel bad, but I, I do wonder if it'll catch up to me a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm really trying to get on the grind. I'm trying to pump out the streams and create good content for you guys, man. Always trying to do that, but I'm kind of switching things up so I can really get after it. Uh, still want to get good workouts in, still make good games, but that's kind of what I'm focused on right now. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to really pump up our stream and our content in general. Uh, uh, that's what we want. Uh, that's what we're doing. I mean, 1,500 people watching me do blacksmithing today, and that's... That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Hopefully we can keep those numbers rolling for you know doing PvP and whatever else we're doing, right? But that's awesome. Really appreciate that, guys. And those of you guys who are swinging by and watching the games, too, you guys rock. Glad to have you here. That's our that's our routine, that's our rhythm. That's how we do it. But yeah, that's great. Been feeling good. Keep it going. Ah, have some fun out here in the warm weather. Oh, ah, oh. Is it necessary to buy supplements? No. Supplements are supplementary, just by definition, not necessary. They can be helpful though, but if your issue is food, the main thing you need to focus on is, is food. You need to be getting more calories in your system. That's the that's main thing right there. But. I mean, the supplements that I use, I, I, I do recommend, I do like them, but it's not going to solve your food problem, right? If you're not eating enough calories to grow, taking a pre-workout is not going to solve that. It might make your workouts more fun, creatine is good too, but once again, it's not going to solve your main issues. Of not getting enough food in you, you know? <clears throat> Food's where it's at. Uh, gotta think about barbell row or T-bar row. The essentials are the training, the food, and the rest. Supplements are nice, but they're, once again, supplementary. I, I really like supplements. I think they make me feel good. Like pre-workout, like creatine, like EAAs, and like carbohydrates, intra workout, like post-workout protein, that kind of stuff, all that. It's good stuff. But a protein shake isn't going to make you build muscle, right? It, it's, a, it's just another source of protein. Uh, let's move that around a little bit. I'm going to set up for some, for some work today. I may leave this here because I may eventually do chest support and shoulder stuff. It's kind of fun to do something back there, I think. We'll be there though. Hey, yeah. Barbell row or T-bar row? I might want to do some barbell rows today. We'll think about it. See how we feel. Uh, I still take it a little bit lighter with my workouts. I've been getting a little bit sore too. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if that's like. I have, mu I have food in my system so I'm able to train harder or my recovery is not as good. I can't quite tell. So we'll, we will carry on. But I'm just gonna interpret it as I have more food in my system so I'm training harder so I'm getting a little sore, right? That's, that's how I'm gonna think about it. 
but I'm not sure that's the case. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, glad we got our weapon today. That, that's hyping me up. Yeah, TVC's giving me good energy, man. I, I, I like that we're able to get in there and accomplish stuff. It's fun. Still got the, the heroic grind to get on. Get those badges of justice rolling. Get the primal nethers or whatever it is that we need to get from heroics to make that weapon. Just pocket a few of those bad boys. But yeah, the, the blacksmithing journey is gonna be a lot of like, hopefully I can make items for people is kind of what I'm thinking. Ideally, hopefully they can, people can bring me their mats and I can craft them the item. So I don't have to spend as much to level up myself, right? But then you can sell those items, I think, which is still good money, but we'll see. Protocol on Shadowlands? No, the, the, the universe dropped the pandemic on Shadowlands. Shadowlands is good, it's just taking a little bit while for 9.1 to come out. It's a good start. Pandemic definitely throws off production a bit. I think people need to be patient, quit being entitled little babies. And I'm having fun with TBC, so no rush. <laughs> no rush. Very glad at TBC though, for sure. Most definitely. You know, being tiny little babies. Things take time. Those are in a pandemic. It'll be alright. No stress. Here we go. But yeah, TBC's off to a good start. Sorry, Shadowlands off to a good start, but. Like all expansions, they'll build off that what they've done so far. It'll be good. No rush, though. I'll have them on TBC. <laughs> no rush. Python and TBC, those are two different teams. If you didn't know that, they're not really related. Yeah. <clears throat> it's hard to get glad on TBC, we gotta get glad. That's probably gonna take some practice, you know? I'm excited to try to get it though. I'm gonna be in Arena Mercenary in twos, get points from fives, get glad in threes. Something like that, you know? Sounds pretty hype to me. I'm so hyped for TBC, man, I really am. The more I play, the more hooked I get. The more hype I get. PvP's gonna be so fun.
Warm it up. That's funny, big boom. I've been doing some overhead press. Yeah. Hold on, TV season fun for me so far. I'm not really worried about it. A few bugs here and there, but I mean, if they start affecting you, I mean, it's kind of like, oh yeah, that sucks. All right. <laughs> for sure. <clears throat> like I saw, we had a bug with Sidious and his druid where mana was, where his, his heal over time effects were actually draining his mana over time. It was really weird. Very odd. Every time I heal ticked, instead of giving health, it like drained mana. It was really weird. <laughs> yeah. It was really weird. You got a big purple hammer you got off the raid? Nice. I got my hammer today too, the thunder. I'm hyped. The weapon doesn't look like much, but it, it's powerful. It's a good one. <laughs> What's the best place to start? Just go to the gym. You can definitely tune into the stream a little bit to get an idea of some exercises you can do. You can check out my games channel for some exercise ideas. You can tap XMH Mark IRL for like my my playlist of like beginner workout videos on my main channel with commentary and stuff. Um, exclamation mark nutrition is super important for learning how about diet at a very basic level. Supplements, you don't need to worry about those right off the bat. Supplements are fun, but that's not. Those are things to sell you for sure. So people are like, yo, let's get you hooked up to work. You're about to start working out. Let's make sure you buy $500 of the supplements to get you started. That's, they're just trying to sell you something. Learn how to train, learn how to eat, learn how to get good sleep habits. Add in supplementation if you want to, but that's, that, in my opinion, is not where it starts. That is not where it begins, right? Begin to learn how to get some exercise, learn how to split up your training, learn a couple good movements to do, right? I'm excited for you though, that you're uh, looking to get started on this journey. Fitness is good stuff, man, it's good stuff. And there's a lot of just becoming a student of the game, you know, learning by doing, and just getting out there and doing, doing your own research and putting things into practice and seeing what kind of clicks for you. But there are some very basic foundational elements that I'd like to share with you uh, in the videos, and of course live here, to help you understand what actually matters. And it gives you some freedom to kind of do things the way you want, as long as you actually are hitting what matters, right? There's a lot of fluff that might not really matter all that much. Yup. That sucks. Wrist injury is no good. But you could even just start getting out for walks, doing crunches, that kind of stuff. But yeah, if you have an injury, you gotta be kind of careful, right? Gotta be kind of mindful of that. Be careful about that.
Gotta get warmed up. intro workout so it's mostly carbohydrates at this point yeah all right oh oh no zug car right there <clears throat> bummer yeah bummer need surgery on the wrist Oof. dang it's not seem like you're able to game okay but yeah Weird. Let me move this thing a bit. Get out of the way so I can get some rows going. That's really weird. <laughs> oh no, Zeno. Not yet half brown, but now that everybody's vaccinated, maybe that'll happen more often. <laughs> yeah, gotta go, gotta go get the lifting in, man. Gotta get the lifting in. You know how it is. two battlegrounds today. Nothing big, but definitely more BG. More BG blasting in our future for sure. Gonna need it. More BG blasting. Like I was saying, I, I was wondering if I should hold off on arena, like like not do arena right off the bat and just go get some gear because I'm pretty under geared. <laughs> but I think arena might be just be it might be a little bit too much fun not to uh, do, right? It might be a little too much fun to not just hop immediately into the arena. So I don't know. I, d I do want to do more BGs, this I like BGs too, so. <sighs> Been for a long time, 10 years, they say uh, high volume or low volume, going heavy is more of a pinch of gain weight. Well, mostly it's gonna be about how you eat, right? But I feel like with building muscle, like volume is very important, but doing some heavy stuff to get stronger is good. I'd say a little bit of both, right? Probably. Makes me sense, and <laughs> I don't know about that. Probably, Sidious, yeah. Definitely you need to get some of the epic honor and onset piece for it, yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Creatine, that's just gotta get your calories right. Creatine's always good though, I'd say. Whew. Yeah, honor still might take a little while, huh? But whatever. You just kinda gotta be like ready to buckle down and just have fun playing, I think. Just play BGs for fun, and the honor gains will sort of accrue over time, right? Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I've got like leather gear up and stuff, you know, like my gear is bad. <laughs> but, I don't know, we'll see. I kind of want to do Serena the first day, but you know, I'll just get crushed, I think. We'll see. I don't know if I want to do weight though. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, we'll get the stream groups going. Stream groups will help, right? Use a heavy compound, I think you can do with high volume accessories. That sounds really good to me, yeah. The screen tends to work, I'm inconsistent. Just take five grams a day every day. That's what I'd say. Best simple carb supplement? I'm using uh, Super Carb from NutriBio right now. I like that pretty good. This uh, highly branched cyclic dextrin is kind of what you're looking for. Uh, highly branched cyclic dextrin. That's, that's good. That's the good stuff right there. there too, they fun. Yep, well high volume accessories, get a little heavier in the compound, sounds like super good, yeah. Uh, super good. Ooh. Got a lot to do, but tomorrow, tomorrow will be a normal weekday, so just have a nice long time to Get some work done. Whether it's like, probably, probably should do the attunements. Maybe have that be the, the first priority. To try to farm some blacksmithing plans early in the morning or something like that. Once tanks come on, do some attunement, then do some BGs maybe once we get some gear. Maybe from the dungeons or something like that. But if we, if we can do Kara, that might be kind of fun to try to find like a Kara group or something. But heroics are be good too. I think those are like the big three progression right now. Dungeons for attunement and heroics. Once I get rep. And blacksmithing plans for the blacksmithing for the weapon upgrades eventually. Uh, and then of course the EVP grind. I think I've had like the, this one right now is strawberry, the kiwi strawberry, then the the uh, pineapple have been good too. Uh, yeah. Woo. Getting warmed up a little bit. I think I definitely could have eaten a little bit more today. Been digging into the deficit though, so. Got tightened up. If we're gonna try to get a little leaner. Gotta do it. Oh boy. Uh, but yeah. Arena right off the bat, maybe. I'm just so excited, man. There's so much to do. Lots of, lots of things about it. I'm getting that like fiend where you're thinking about the game a lot, trying to figure out how to make it all work. Like, I don't want to get like so focused on optimization that like not, it stops being fun, but it's like a lot of cool stuff to do. Having a bit of a plan going into it kind of helps, I think, though, when there is so much to do.
that weapon going. Get an evil scar, awesome. Oof. Yeah. That'd be good. Nice, yeah. Getting into Karazhan would be great. That'd be cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do something a little crazy today. We wanna get warmed up. Then swap over to this. We can do more of those little like cable pull downs later, but I'm gonna do some cable chesties and see how they feel. That's some light to squeeze the chest a little bit. Doing these on back days kind of fun. A little bit of cable chesties. Just for fun. Oh man. But yeah. Lots of loot games to be made. The blacksmithing, the 360 was pretty smooth. The last couple levels are gonna be a little tough, huh? Just gotta try to see if I can do crafting services. That would help a lot. For me, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, man. Pump the deep thunder gains. I think what it took me probably about two weeks to get that. At least. I, I think it's gonna be a little while. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit. But deep thunder, man. That'll be fun. Hit extra stun. Right, people. Oh, and the demurge. with people from like you can like group of people from your server but you can queue in anybody I think <sighs> oh are there so many reps 
Oh, that's pretty lightweight. It's an isolation movement. Get some squeeze on the on the shoulders. And on this thing, I'm warming up. Trying to get it going. Easing on in. Uh, I'll throw some more weight on there. I don't need to go crazy heavy though. It's easing on in. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about the shoulders in particular, yeah. It's pretty light. Get a little squeeze, a little something to do in between sets. I'm no chork. <laughs> we'll bring a little toothbrush to the gym or something. Dad bod hype. I got the father figure. I don't think that dad bod usually refers to the kind of physique that I have, but maybe. I am a proud dad, that's for sure. That's for sure. That's more of a father physique than the dad body. Does the belt actually help people like you? Uh, I mean, the belt, if you learn how to engage your core, it could be helpful. The belt is really determined by your physique, though, right? But uh, yeah, if you learn how to use your core, Flex your abs against the belt. Yeah, sure could. Aren't you a little young to be having a dad bod though? <clears throat> I don't know. Squishy as a hot potato. You might have to work on that one. A little, little young to have dad bod at 22, don't you think? <laughs> Tighten up. But the belt is, is to, to create intra-abdominal like core pressure so you can lift safely while engaging the core, connecting your upper and lower body together. Yeah. That's where it becomes helpful. Be like a big journey, yeah. You can tighten up your diet at the same time, that'll help you out too. Tighten up that diet a little bit, that'll help you out. The gym is great though, wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but if it's a diet, if it's like a fat loss issue, then you gotta get your diet right. Ever hopped on stage? Yeah, I'm a pro natural bodybuilder, yeah. Yep. 
Earn my pro status. Indeed. Yup, yup, yup. That's probably one of my favorite physiques. That right, that right chair. That earned me the pro status. Pretty cool. We'll do it again. Probably in 2022 is what I'm thinking. But yeah. Pro natural bodybuilder. Yes, sir. Pretty cool. Just gotta keep pumping, man. Gotta make some gains in the offseason. Oh. Yeah. A lot of room to improve on that physique, but so pretty proud of it, right? A lot of room to improve, though. bodybuilding.com mostly now. I like selling core, but you can get anything on bodybuilding.com. <laughs> yeah. Including selling core. I wouldn't mind working selling core again though. It's not currently contracted. warm I like it though that's nice when it's warm in here I prefer it being warm rather than cold get the doors open fresh air something coming through oh yeah yeah you see for ripped a lot during the 2015 competition season that was fun it's good stuff I'm just using the bodybuilding.com pre workout now, though. Just simple, basic stuff. I like it. But no, C4 doing a pinch for sure. Most deaf. I think C4 has, is a little harder hitting than I need it to be right now. I feel like the bodybuilding.com sort of effect is a little bit more smooth and slow, which I like. I respect the reduced reduction of caffeine for sure. I still like a little bit of caffeine. This kind of helps me get where I want to be, feel a little, a little more in it. Not much though, not too much. What's up, Dominic? Love to hit you with the flex, dude. Love to. It is with that sub, which is the flex. You know how that works. I got you, bro. A little, bit, a little half scoopy of EAAs, some carbohydrates. Coming home from a mountain bike trip, noise, noise. Be safe, hope you had fun. Good stuff, man. 
Is this for free? No. Not currently. <clears throat> that's fine, that's business expense. <laughs> Maybe when I am back in season, we'll do that again, but we'll see. We're not, we don't, like, we're, we're an affiliate of bodybuilding.com. We're not, like, sponsored by any supplement company right now. So that means we're open. Open to talks, baby. EMP, thanks for the prime. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, man. Open for the discussion. But now, uh, just if you ever, ever want to buy any, uh, any supplements, you can get them off bodybuilding.com using our link, which is great. But yeah, we're not sponsored by anybody right now. This is an affiliate. An affiliate deal with bodybuilding.com, which is fine. Oh, off season and whatnot. Here we go. But uh, during my prep and stuff, they, they handle all my stuff and stuff, which I really appreciate. And giveaways and stuff is fun. Oh, there you go. Woo. You can't even take a pre workout all day. I'll only take pre workout for my workouts. <laughs> can't be going too crazy. Ah. <laughs> Never really trained for the power thing so much, but you know, that's just where we're at. I imagine we'll break the squat deadlift PR next uh, surplus phase if we wanted to. Be cool. You told me about that, so yeah, that sucks. Hurt your back. 235. I mean, doesn't. I mean, whatever the weight was, 
You might want to take some time working a little bit lighter, right? Work your way back up slowly. Work on your squat form, learn how to brace your core. Don't be getting too cute, right? Sucks though, sorry that you got hurt though. It's not nice. You can take a page out of my book and do a little more reps, right? Think about training people. And I'm more than happy to talk about this kind of stuff for free on, on stream and videos and stuff. You gotta, you gotta pay for that, you know? So, ooh. Nice, Adric. Get some loot, man. Get some looties in that there, Karazan. Here's the hope, right? Here's the hope, and big looties. I'm a little bit behind the cutting edge, but I think I'll be all right. We'll be a little behind on loot compared to some people, but be fine. We'll be fine. Make up for it in raw skill, of course, right? We'll see. Yeah, I don't have a lot of TBC experience, but like, like arena experience, yeah. Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> Just laying the smack down. But I got a lot of learning TBC, so there's that too. Got a, lo got a lot to learn with classic and TBC, so. You know, we'll get there though. That arena experience. Yes, indeed. I'm excited to pump out the arena content too. So fun. We're getting there now. And the new schedule allows us to really get some good gaming time in, so that's great. That's pumping. Into it with kind of the cost piece, yeah. You'll get the feel for arena. It's a little bit of a different game, but it's, it's really arena is like the best. Wow, arena is just something special. No doubt about it. And CBC arena is kind of goofy, but it's cool. All the RNG makes it kind of goofy, <laughs> but whatever. I'm gonna be playing. Uh, Thunder, Deep Thunder, May Spec Warrior, so I'm embracing the RNG. Hope it shines down on me. Favorably. I'm ready. Oh. 
Oof. So many shoulder gains. Anita. Let's go a little heavier on those, I think. Yeah, all the shoulder gains. But RNG Marma, not nearly compared to TVC. Not nearly. Like I'm talking like when you press your button, you expect it to work, right? You can't even, you don't even have that assurance in TBC. Like honestly, crits are like the most RNG thing. It's, it feels like to me. But yeah, maybe frocks are more RNG, but not, not, not even that big of a deal. It seems like that to me. I think TBC is much more procy, but yeah, when you proc CC, that's really noticeable. <laughs> but all roll with it. Like I said, it's just something to get used to. You're used to the pace, you know. I'm just not used to that part, but we'll get there. not straight down, but it's at a little bit of an angle. And I actually feel that my lat's more than a straight lat pull down, personally. I can just do pull ups too. I know a pull up so I can do, one or more reps I can do assisted pull ups with band. I don't really need to usually add much weight to my pull ups. I'm pretty heavy as it is. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not doing it right now, but I definitely could. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I think today's gonna be more like upper back, kind of row focus workout, row shrug kind of thing. You know what I might do? I've never done it before. I, I probably should, I should wheel my, my uh, bench over here. Maybe do seated chest cables. Because the standing ones are okay, but like, like you kind of lean into it to create resistance. And I feel like that might be worse. Let's try it. I gotta figure out where this needs to be, and that might move the hex bar. Plop this right here. <sighs> I mean, I'm sitting right on top of this other thing, but not right, not once I get this cranked up. Oh. 
Maybe get a little lower. Doesn't feel bad though. It's kind of fun. Interesting. Concussion blow, right? You can, you could. You do the sweeping strikes. You or you do like the the amount of arm. I think it's like 35, right? In arms or whatever, and then you just go instead of fury, you go to prop. You can concussion blow his arms. Yeah, you could. So, you lose, you lose, yeah, you lose like all the Fury stuff, yeah. But I mean, I don't know, arms with a stun? I don't know, man. Could be kind of nutty. Could be kind of nutty. You could do it. It'd be really weird though. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try it, dude. Like thunder, mace stun, with concussion blow. Absolute madman. Uh, they're, they're just wrestling shoots. They're, they're pretty good. They're just like they just don't have any like anything really to them. So they're just like a nice flat kind of minimalistic shoe. Improve revenge, or maybe have the, they have the extra defense and extra armor for being tanky. Dude, maybe, dude. Maybe. It would be insane. I was thinking about it last night when I was doing my theory crafting for what I wanted to do with my new build. Oh, last day in an arena? Dude, it might, it might be the season one special, dude. It really might be the season one special. What if that's the new meta? The season one special. Tanky? CC rich for one shot people? Maybe, man. Oh. How long of a how long of a stun is that? Five seconds? Catch a druid out of stealth or out of form? On a four or five second CD? Five seconds. I mean people th people say they've got TBC figured out. I hadn't heard much about that build. I mean I knew it existed. Maybe. The Legion Glad Mounts are cool, but the DBC Glad Mounts pretty sick. Does it though? Does it diminish? Oh. That's kind of whack then. Does it diminish charge? That's a little bit whack. I don't know. That's a little bit whack. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. You just do it off a mace stun then, dude. Well, you, have, you have uptime, just clank them off a mace stun. Ugh. Mace stun and a concussion blow, dude. Blam. Whacked. Rogue opens up on you, 
P Proxier and Rage. Cow! Concussion blow to the dome. Take him out. Bang! Or, or, you intentionally get your intercept immune by, char by intercepting too fast against a mage to make it immune. Bang! Concussion blow! Can't, can't, it's not on DR if it's immune. Yeah. Yeah. It's like playing Night Fade, Modern WoW, dude. Lock him down. Ugh. It could be sick in BGs too. Just, just bump somebody. I'm about to try it out, dude. Could be sick. Could be insane. Future luck against a rogue? Yeah, could be. Or against a warrior? Gets a hunter pet? Dude. This might be the meta. Might be the meta, baby. Redefining it. New technology, undiscovered for generations, unearthed, revealed by the retail multi-rank 1-5 head of warriors. Oh yeah. It might be, man. It might be. by resilience. Here it is. It's resilience penetration. Stuns. Bro. I'll have to try it. I'll have to try it out, bro. Unleash the new technology on Arena Day. Blow everybody's mind. Oh. 
See, everybody wants to watch the WoW stream to see the gameplay, but the, the gym stream is where the real theory crafting happens, dude. <laughs> That's where the real, the real secrets are unveiled. Sunder, yeah. Can you link me the, the the calculator real quick? I should be doing this. I'm working out. I'll take a look. No, 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 it's 155. It's uh, all the plate, all the, the all the three plates on the outside are tens. Not very heavy. Uh, I got it. I got the calculator. Don't worry. So, tactical mastery, defense, armor, last stand. Maybe more defense. Maybe one point in improved blood rage. Um, Sunder. One more point in blood rage. Um, I'm not really hyped about shield specialization or revenge. Maybe just disarm. One point of disarm, concussion blow. And then uh, five points left. Wait, what? You could do you could do shield bash blanket silence. Or put five points in crit. You could do shield bash blanket silence. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude, this is insane actually. And then uh you got like three points, you can either put points in crit, or you could go into improved hamstring. I'd probably just put improved hamstring instead of crit. But you, you just never crit, you just lock people down. Holy shit. Thirty-eight-zero twenty-three. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro. Bro. It's a 10 second cooldown. It's a caster buster build. It's, dude, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey, Cole, see, yeah, it's fine. Just, they're just locked down, who cares? I mean, if they try to fake you, bing. <laughs> There's silence. You can't miss a kick if it's silence is 100%. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm, dude, I'm doing it. I don't care, I'm doing it. Oh, just sit on a healer and blast him. So, dude, it's, a, it's the concussion blow into silence combo, man. 
Get a mate, mess around, get a mace stun there and that? Oh my god. That's the that's the build, dude. That's the build. Yeah. That's the build. I'm doing it. I'm respecting. That's the build. We, dude, we made a mistake. We made thunder. We should have made the one-hander and just, just one-hander and shield arms. We made a mistake. <laughs> That's funny. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, I talked myself into it. Yeah, he's gonna probably show some play on people, yeah. Mortal Strike is pretty good though. What's the belt? It's, uh, it allows you to brace your core, create intra abdominal pressure, lift strong. That's sick. Cost 15 rage, that's fine. I'm doing it, man. I'm gonna try it out. I think it'll be sick. You don't lose that much. And what you get is kind of insane for what this season is, I think. I'm doing it, man. People thought I was crazy for going night fade too. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've convinced myself. <laughs> hey, it's probably good for dungeons too, man. Sunder up those mobs. Hit them with the with the concussion blow. What, what do you mean? What have you done? <laughs> Are you gonna respect to it? Are you doing it, man? Uh. Oh. <laughs> nah, we'll see. You do, you do what you want. I think it'll be interesting. Yeah, I had to set up a keybind for concussion blow and stuff, but it'll be fine. I'll just fly into like my storm bolt button. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be hype, actually. It'll be insane. With how bursty the game is, having last stand and a stun is kind of nuts. No, I'm serious. I'm like halfway memeing about it, but at the same time, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> It'll be hype. We do lose endless rage though, so whatever. It's fine. This is what it is. It, you just just charge them. <laughs> just charge them with perception. Charge. Them. They might get the opener on you, but you can look forward to hitting with a with a concussion blow right out of. They're open, all right? Here we go. Yeah, but they're, if they're close enough to cheap shot you, they're close enough to get demo shouted. I think you can use last stand in arena. I think so, as long as it's not a 10 minute cooldown, right? Oh, you can use bloodlust in arena.
Yeah. You should be able to use it. Yeah. I'd say so. Twenty-four hit. Ooh, wow. Juicy. I'm gonna have to spend some gold to respec. I, I really kind of do want to try this, though. <laughs> it seems pretty funny. Seems kind of insane, actually. I mean, you could instead of this arm, you could do improve revenge, right? What do you think's better, improve revenge? Instead of disarm, just an even more chance to stun. I don't know. What's the drink? Uh, some carbohydrates. So did you go? Did you go improve uh, revenge instead of uh, instead of improve blood rage? Specialization, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, maybe. Improve shield block, maybe. Yeah. Could work. Interesting. Maybe. <clears throat> maybe could be. It's true, Zug, it's true. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. The scimitar is awesome. Remember you can use code Vajira to save 10% off too. Yeah, that, that actually could be sick for tanking too, right? And like your an arms tank. Oh my gosh, think the utility. Arms tanking! Holy crap! The utility!
Be all in one. The arms tank. Yeah. One of my one of my arena buddies, Odin, was saying that the rend is good for knocking the shields off of priests and stuff. And maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, fitness goals are bodybuilding related, and I think my training style is mostly bodybuilding related. Especially in arena where like pressure matters more, maybe. Just rend everything. Could be. Yeah, I mean, three different damage doesn't sound like much, but I mean, it's, it's something. It's something, you know? It's something. That could work. It's something. This lockdown warrior, man. Lockdown, baby. Lockdown. Right. <sighs> I feel like it can be kind of fun to play a little bit higher utility. I, mean, I think you're still going to do damage, too. Like, somebody should just be able to do deeps. I really kind of want to try it. I'm a little bit bummed that I respect already today, but spend a little more gold on it, I guess, and just see how it goes. Oh, shh. Yeah. And the improved block means more revenges, right? Still, if they're stunned for three seconds, not being able to use it for five seconds is not a big of a deal, right? <laughs> you can use that to repair it? Interesting. Uh, 155, no, it's not very heavy. The weights on the side are 10, so I just didn't feel like taking all the weight off and put it back on. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Maybe the parry is, I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, parry could be good then. Interesting. Might have to, you know, roll with the power of the build there. Synergize the, the build a little bit. Well, your defense would be good for that too, then. Defense would be good for parrying stuff. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, it could throw off people's hit rating, right? Like if people are like trying to go for exactly 5% hit, then you have some defense to bump you above that thing and their attacks start missing. Do most Resto Druids play with that, with Insect Swarm? It's a talent, right? Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, stack some defense with Insect Swarm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. Means a lot, man. <laughs> Feel free to drop by more than once a month, but Definitely appreciate you swinging by to hit us with that prime. You rock, man. Thank you, dude. We're just pumping, doing our thing, man. Glad to have you, dude. Whew. All right, sounds good, dude. Get that, get that core routine in. Oh.
drugs for the traps. All right. Whew. We gotta get to that bad flex, of course. Well, you don't really stream bodybuilding competitions, but um, probably won't be competing until like next year. I'll do today, some back. Ah. Flask of fortification, 45, but what the heck is that? What is that? 45 gold? What the heck? Well, is that like reusable or something? Better be, that's a lot of gold. That's ridiculous. That's so much gold. Yeah, Vinny, you gotta track your calories and make sure you're in a surplus. Yep. You don't need to be eating so much that you feel gross, but you need to slowly work your calories up. For sure, right? Gotta work them calories up. Slowly over time. I think. Just for a couple more sets. Whew. Man. To be 70 on both sides. That's 45. Why have we never heard about that build? That makes me wonder. Probably people probably tried it and it sucks, but I don't know, I'm kinda curious. <laughs> It'll be kinda fun. That kinda fun. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you play it well, it can be very interesting. Maybe it's just not enough damage, I don't know. Stop working on a person? Not really. Like day trader stuff? No. I mean, we have like a, not like investments long term. I know, I feel like it'd be nuts. Like all these like ways to stun people and stuff. Like revenge procs would be huge. Just gotta make like a weak aura for revenge is all, so you know when to swap it to D. I hit him with it. Yeah. Swap over there and hit him with it. I 
drink a lot of water. This is a double healer? I don't know about that. That'd be, that'd be people rage though, wouldn't it? On YouTube? <sighs> be freaking out. Water's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Water spawns would be awesome. <laughs> be sick. That'd be sick. about diet yeah exclamation mark a nutrition is like a main thing that you need to know exclamation mark nutrition that's where it begins I do a lot of back and I'm just doing a little bit of chest pumpage just for fun maybe some shoulders as well but the main objective is the uh, rotus rotus weight right here and get that back activation along with some strokes just having some fun doing uh, like a little bit of light chest and shoulders just for blood flow and just to feel good suck <laughs> but um, I mean I do a lot of lateral raises a lot of presses that's the, like, kind of the main thing I do I think heavy pulls are kind of good for your shoulders too though so Whew. see if we can set up some arena. Now if I play the s I might not need concussion below, but something to think about. I mean, he could, he could hodge the heel, I could have concussion below the main target. That'd be actually kind of nutty, wouldn't it? But th there's ways it could work. There's ways it could work. Oh. Mm. Mm. Or I could concussion below the healer and charge and intervene back to the s or something like that. We'll see. But yeah, you can see my shoulder training is mostly like dumbbells, uh, barbell overhead presses. But yeah, I don't really think I have a very wide frame necessarily. I think my shoulders are really weak, but um, keep working on them, you know? Uh, mostly bench pressing for chest stuff, but I like push-ups a lot too. Oh, s fans crazy strong, yeah. Just gotta get him healthy in terms of like his lower back and stuff. I think is kind of hurt, but no, he's crazy strong. Crazy strong. Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh. oh man, 
11 months, Dragon Moon. Thank you so much, dude. Holy moly. What a beast. What a beast. Keep on pumping. Woo. I mean, I feel like heavy rows, heavy pulls help your shoulders too, so let's see. My sister's got massive shoulders, and so I'm trying to get like her. Thank you, Rosie, for the four, seven months, man. Big flex for you. Been doing good, man. Been doing good on a new schedule and really enjoying it. Games have been pumping, games have been pumping. Been getting some good work in. Love to see you, man. Good to see you back. Thank you so much for the four, seven months, man. It's a long time. Oh, rear delt, uh, like rear delt rows are pretty good. I'm gonna do some today. I'm at about 2,700 calories a day right now on a small Small mini cut. Small mini cut. Oof. <clears throat> All right. Oof. Yeah, they target right out too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Heavy pulls, yeah. Should still tap this, man. We're trying to set up some PvP together, which I think would be awesome. Warrior Rep with S-Fan would be so much fun. I really like S-Fan. He's a really cool guy. You know, I actually was watching his videos when he was on YouTube doing the private server stuff, and I was like, man, this guy, this guy is really something special, and I'm, I'm so glad to see how much he's succeeded since then, man. He is such a beast. Southern California. Nice, Brad, nice. Keep it up, man. Hey, get your exercise in, have fun, stay moving, find ways of moving more, and now that deficit, you're in business, man. You're in business. Woo. There we go. Oh. Oh man. 
That was core already? What the heck? Hold on, what? You, start, you just searched core like 10 minutes ago. Wait a second. It took you 16 minutes. High intensity. I, I guess. All right, now, way to get, way to get it done. Jeez. Way to work. Just like that, huh? All right. All right, now. What's that machine? A cable machine. Yeah. Hey. But the warrior is good. Yeah. Kind of kill the cable machine. You can call it functional trainer or something. But that is a cable machine, yeah. Oh. Oh. Me too, man. Thanks for checking in. Good job on the, on the abs. Oh. You keep getting after it. Internal, external mix. I, I just do like side crunches. Really pretty good. <sighs> All right. Whew. Yeah, so me and Espan need a shaman. Sorry, let me see if I can boost uh, S fans' tweet a little bit here. We need an Arsham. We need a. We could work something else. We'll, uh, we'll pump that up a little bit. Where you at, shamans? Where you at? Where you at? Uh, set of weights and bench that, That's a good start. Sorry, I'm kind of fiddling around with social media a bit. A couple more sets we gotta get out of here, too. You play horse shaman? Yeah, we need, we need like a big arena pumper. Healer shaman. Woo! I mean, Arisa Druid, Holy Pally. Priest might work. I mean, whatever. It could really be any healer, but... Wrestle shopping seems really fun. <laughs>
last little bit too. Whew. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, we'll see. We need some big, big pumper shaman. That'd be sick. <laughs> yep, you can deadlift, you can bench. It's a good start. Yeah, what's up, Andrew? Getting a little bit of Saturday morning gains here. A little bit of back action, a little bit of shoulders and chest on the side. It's for fun. Doing good though. Moving some weight around. I'm kind of doing those rows in a bit of like a trying to pick it up with the traps a little bit first, kind of interesting. Make it into a trap movement as long as the back stays happy. All good. Oh, that's been a good day so far. Uh, I'm on the way down right now. A little mini cut, but as part of a long-term bulking plan. But yeah, tightening up the diet just a little bit to bring down the body fat a little bit too. Nothing really aggressive, just slow and steady. But I want to make gains over the long haul, but yeah, right now it's just a little, small little mini cut phase. How about you, man? How are you doing, Andrew? Uh, uh, uh. Woo, man. A little extra shoulder. My goodness. Uh, it's fun today, though. Aw. Why'd that happen? That's a bummer, but. That's a bummer. But. Um, you know, gives you some other options, do some other stuff then, huh? Have you told me about what injury you had? Neck injury, oh god. Wait, when did that happen? That really sucks. Single arm at a time? I, I can respect the single arm at a time. Yeah. Hey. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Well, It'll give you some other options, I guess, right? Explore some different avenues. Sometimes you're getting better, that's good. Then you get back in the gym. That's excellent. That is good news. Woo! Slaying that around feels good though. <laughs> feels good. Slaying the weight a bit. Caffeine, yeah, just to, just to like around my workout, a little bit of pre-workout. Caffeine is nice to kind of get things going, I think. Whew. That's about it, though. 
Do I work the rip range once in a while? I would do higher rip range with lower weight to kind of get the feeling back. Ease into it. Higher rip ranges with lower weight would probably be good. focus tomorrow will be fun or if we're feeling real nice we can maybe just, just go ahead and hit legs right off the bat but now is a good time to wrap it up thank you so much for tuning in really fun day uh on the gaming stream really fun day on the gym stream talking about gaming <laughs> getting our uh theory crafted warrior build going could be pretty fun we'll check it out we'll mess with it we will see how it goes we will see how it goes Uh, but for now, let's wrap it up on a good note. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing love. Make sure you guys follow the stream if you haven't already. You can follow on all of my YouTube channels. Go ahead and show those videos some love. I'd really appreciate that. You can follow along on social media, interact with those posts. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for another full day of games and games. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Peace.